Uh, this is Dr. Doug McGuff. He's an ER doctor. He's an exercise geek and a weightlifter, and he's one of those few ER doctors who happens to just have his own gym called Ultimate Exercise. And he is one of the authors of Body by Science, along with John Little, looking at what high intensity training does for you. Yeah, myokine is basically just a chemical signaler. Um, the, the more generalized term for that kind of molecule is called a cytokine. And there are all kinds of cytokines that do chemical signaling, endocrine signaling from one organ to another, or paracrine signaling within a single organ um, to kind of direct the body as to what it should be doing at any given moment. If someone is interested in optimizing their results, you really don't have to do it that often. And over time, I really, you know, I really like working out and I will do it as much as I can get away with, even though I'm a huge advocate of appropriate recovery and, you know, doing very brief workouts infrequently. Where do you draw that line for people who want to exercise more than a minimum effective dose? How do you know if it's too much? Well, the way I tell people to assess it in themselves is if something comes up in your day-to-day -day life on a day when you're scheduled to work out, and if something interferes with that and you have to cancel it and move it to another day, if it freaks you out, <laughs> or if it pisses you off, or if it ruins your day and you're in a foul mood the rest of the day, or you can't stop thinking yeah. about it, you're doing too much. But what they found is in all of their stress inoculation training, the one thing that decreased the washout rate at BUDS from 38 down to 23% was one simple thing. And that was to teach combat breathing. What are your top three recommendations for people who want to perform better at life? So if you want to kick more ass, do these three things. It doesn't have to be anything to do with exercise, whatever else, but you've, you've learned a lot. You've, you, know, you have an interesting career. The three things that everyone should know.